Hello, this is Kung Nguyen. For this video, I would like to show you how to use Andrew Loomis method. This is a book I bought uh, a while ago. It's a wonderful book. You can find them online. And it's just about, um, I don't know how much it's going to cost now, uh, maybe $25. But if you can buy one of this book and keep it with you, this is going to be so good for you to learn, okay? Uh, beautiful books, uh, lots of information here, and you know, it's a lot of character to draw. But Andrew Loomis come up with the concept to use uh, uh, geometries to draw human face. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, I have learned the techniques when I'm much younger, and until now, I'm still using it. And I have people send me uh, questions to explain uh, how to use Andrew Loomis uh, methods. So in this video, I'm gonna slowly to show you how to use uh, that method with uh, three different poses. Uh, frontal pose, three quarter views, and uh, profile. So for the material, I use pastel pencil. Uh, the number I'm using is 645. Uh, look at the pencil right here. And the paper I'm using now is just a uh, new prints, a uh, cheap paper for drawing. I don't want to spend lots of money on the SSI. Uh, same thing with you, to buy some simple paper and uh, draw, okay? So are you ready? So we can start now. All right, so this is gonna be a profile, okay? So we're gonna start with the big circle first. So this is the trick to um, to draw a circle. You make a mark here, you make a mark here. You got a guessing it's like a square, but actually when you connect all the marks, it turn into a circle. Okay, and again, it don't have to be perfect. So this part, this big circle here, this circle is represent his skull. So this is gonna be your profile of James, okay? So again, this center point is very important. So I make a little dot in it, okay? Then from the distance to here, to this here. All right, I make this guessing. It's about one, you know, divide them by, by third. Make a little mark in here, okay? Same thing with here, from this center to the end of it, make it throw thirds. This time, I make another circle, a smaller circle. Inside. Okay, well my circles are not perfect. So I hope you guys do a much better circle than mine, okay? All right, so I'm looking for, um, now I'm looking for the um, the angle, actually the lines of his profile, okay? So in this case, he face his, his face is more like this. It's not a 100% straight line. Some people, they can go like this, but he more like tilted a little bit, so I make this like, make it like this, okay? All right, so this central like here, gonna be parallel with this like, on the same level. Okay, 
and then this because this one tilt this so this one is gonna be like this all right so remember this first thing here this light here I make a mark for you first this is gonna be parallel with this light as well so I just symbol make the line This is gonna be his hairline, okay? This line here, gonna be his eyebrows. So this is important like right here. Central line, when it's missed, the, the eyebrows, so that's important, okay? And then because it's the hairline, the distance equal to distance, make a line here. This is bottom of the nose, All right? So now we're going to duplicate this distance here to here, somewhere around here. And I look at James, I think his bottom part is just slightly longer. So, like this. Alright, so I have this, then I will connect them. And this light here is light up with his eyebrows. This light is light up with under the uh, under of the nose, the bottom of his nose. So this that's why the ear is gonna be around here. Good symbol. See that the jaw lines see, come in. So you see that you can see that is the head of James. Okay. So now I can go a little bit for more detail. If this is the skull, let me holding the skull for you to see, right? Then the back of the head is going to be more like this. Then we have kind of like the skull, okay? So now let's draw a little bit more detail. This is his neckline. From here, look just like here. I notice the nose sticking out. And then the forehead is here. I'm gonna draw the, the brush of his nose, okay? Keep the hairs in here. Look at my eraser a little bit. I think this did too much. I make it a little bit. This bone structure here come down and it curve. It's more like that. See that light here, his mouth is come out a little bit. You can do that like that. And here the chin. So again, there's so many ways to uh, to start a drawing, uh, but I think this is one of the most simple way to draw, okay? At some point when you draw enough, 
you don't need to draw the circle anymore. The circle is somewhat inside of your head. But in this case, when you start it, you need to see that. This is, again, this circle represents the skull. The smaller circle inside, you can identify the hairline. The center of both of them is the brows. The bottom of this is the bottom of the nose. All right, so you got that concept. So you see, using uh, a Loomis method, I can draw someone uh, like in profile, in three quarter view, in frontal. Um, it's not that hard. So uh, Andrew Loomis is a genius to come up with this uh, concept and method. As it have so many artists out there, um, included me. I studied his uh, techniques when I was much, much younger, and until now, I still using it. Okay. Uh, so continue with this. I like you to pay attention to the eyebrows here. His eyebrows is his character. Come back. And here I can see when I have this now, I can just, you know, erase the circle a little bit. I don't need to show that much. I can start go for detail a little bit. Okay. Outside, I can feel this is. It upper lid again his bone structure is beautiful I just see me make a straight line here, represent his eyes. Um, you can see the eye, this eyeball coming out here a little bit. You see little is the corner of the tear ducts here. Remember when you draw a face, think about a uh, three-dimensional, okay? Um, not just draw in the outline. You have plants in here. Beautiful nose.
let me uh, sharpen my pencil a little bit better. Fun, isn't it? Now, so I have to. I can remove it. Lie here. This is the cast shadow, four inch your hit neck. Same thing with the ear here. I would like to draw a little bit more detail. Just a little bit of cast shadow, four into the back. Draw the ear of, you know, with a very simple way, because this is just a, a almost like a study, a sketch. So I'm not going to pay attention to draw all the details of the ear, but you need to understand the structures of it. So even though is, it's not a lot of full detail, but you can understand the shape of the ear, and it look more convincing. Okay, and I like you to learn how to draw ear too. It's fun. Time for me to make this lie a little bit darker. This is his hair. This is a James hair. This is a, he have almost a perfect circle of the skulls. You know, most of the people don't have that perfect circle like that. Some people have more like an oval shape, egg shape. Some people have more like a flat. Um, you know, so it's but in this guy James have a, a very good circle shape see his hair since we are status has come this See that the eyebrows, draw the eyebrow a little bit better here. here Let 
And the whole thing here is the inside the eye socket, okay? And here you can see that it's a stamble, uh, temple circle here. Muscle here. And his forehead is not quite round. So time for us to make it look more like him. We have the bone, beautiful bone structure here. Come in, come out, come back. It's all about practicing, okay? Is uh, at first it's, it takes some time to understand uh, the structures and the technique, you know. But then if you do it all the time, you will see that it's not that hard to see to see um, the uh, the methods with Andrew Lumet come up with. I think that's is a uh, just a beautiful uh, technique for people to learn. We are almost there. So that's it you can have or using his technique and you can draw different angle, different models. Um, you know, this is very fun. And at some point you can just come up with a hat, uh, a portrait of someone you don't even know. I mean, you can come up with something in your imagination and draw somebody. Uh, most like a loss of illustrator using the technique to draw a uh, different character and I think that's a fantastic and if you can just use a circle and okay let's draw somebody could be a man could be a woman you know but this is fun to get used to this I will continue to do another pose. Uh, then um, I hope in the future I will continue to talking about the technique because I think it's so important for people to learn. And I'd like you to, to learn to draw, you know. Uh, just take away your uh, routine. If you are using photograph, it's fine too. But I'd like you to stay away from dressing, okay? Uh, is I like people to draw more freedom, uh, more freely, uh, not using, not depend on other tour. So here you go. So that's the James Simple file.